This particular podcast is going to look at how to factor the trinomial 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. This trinomial is a little different from other trinomials because the leading coefficient is not a 1, it's a 3. The technique that I'm going to use to factor this trinomial is something called the X-Box technique. Uh, no, we're not going to use a gaming system to factor this. Uh, we're actually just going to use a large X and a box to find the factors of this trinomial. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a large X that splits my paper into four different regions. In the top of this X, I'm going to take the leading coefficient of 3 and multiply it by the constant term here, 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm going to put a 6 up here. On the bottom of the box, I'm going to put the middle term, or the coefficient of the middle term, or in this case the linear term, 7. Now, to get 6, I need to multiply two numbers, and those two numbers that I multiply to give me 6 have to add up to be 7. So the factors of 6 have to add up to be this middle term 7. And the two factors of 6 that will allow us to do that are 6 times 1. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. The next step to factor this is I'm going to create my box. And the box is going to contain four different regions. In these four regions, I'm going to split up these three terms. The first term, the 3x squared, is going to go in my upper left-hand box. So I'm going to put 3x squared in that box. The last term, the positive 2, is going to go into the bottom right box. Now these middle two boxes are for the 7x. I only have one term to split among these two boxes. That's what we did over here with our x, is we split 7x up into 6 and 1. So in these boxes, I'm going to put 6x and 1x. And since we're adding these two terms up to get 7x, order does not matter. Uh, addition's commutative, so we could put the 1x in this box, the upper right-hand corner, and the 6x down here, and this will still work. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look horizontally across the top row to see if there's any common factors in these two boxes. I see there's a 3 in this box and a 6 in this box, which means they have a greatest common factor of 3. I see there's an x squared in this box and an x in this box, so there's a common factor, or a greatest common factor of x in those two boxes. So I'm going to bring that 3x out in front. That's the parent of these two boxes. Then I'm going to look vertically down this first column. The only common factor between 3 and 1 as a number is 1, and then between x squared and x, the greatest common factor there would be 1x. So I'm going to put an x as the parent of these two boxes. If you think of this as like an area problem, when I take this box's top side and multiply it by the left-hand side, this times this should give us what's inside the box. So 3x times x is 3x squared. So I know I'm, I'm good so far. Then I'm going to go vertically down this column, the second column. 6 and 2 have a greatest common factor of 2, positive 2. So I'm going to put a positive 2 on the top of the box. And just to check that, when I take the 2 along this length and multiply it by the 3x along this length, 2 times 3x is 6x. Horizontally across the bottom row, I see there's a common factor of a positive 1. So I'm going to put a positive 1 as the parent of these two boxes. To check it, x times 1, 1x. Positive 2 times 1 is positive 2. This is the product of the two binomials that give me the trinomial, 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. I would write it as 3x plus 1 times the group x plus 2. And again, in this case, because it's a multiplication of two binomials, it doesn't matter which one we write down first because multiplication is commutative. So you could have x plus 2 times 3x plus 1. To check your answer, you could FOIL it, and you'd end up with 3x squared plus 7x plus 2.